Ulf via email says, I have a Mark 7 GTI, APR stage one with a catless downpipe, and I've been getting a lot of heat soak. What is your opinion to fix my problem? Should I get water meth or do some intercooler work like the Forge Twin Cooler? Thanks, love the new series. Ulf, uh, when you're talking about Mark 7s, obviously great tunable car. When you're talking about meth, water methanol injection versus intercoolers, they're both options for performance. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, water methanol injection essentially is uh, pumping uh, a highly atomized uh, methanol fluid and a mix of water into the intake manifold, which will cool down the temperatures of the intake track, obviously makes it better for combustion, allows a lot more things like timing advance, um, as well as it, it essentially raises the octane of the fuel um, through, uh, through all those things. Front end intercoolers obviously are also a great option. They are definitely the best route to go with from air coolers are something that's bolt-on, doesn't require a lot of crazy modification, uh, and there's a ton of options out there. We're actually gonna be doing a DIY on a front mount uh, very soon with a company we're gonna be working with. Now, when it comes to water meth, uh, my personal thoughts on that uh, is it's really something that you wouldn't wanna go with for the average person. It is definitely something that only, I would say, you know, the top five or 10% of people who really wanna modify their car are gonna get into, uh, gets a lot, a lot of concerns for if you want to optimize uh, water meth properly, it needs to be a new tune on it to, to optimize that for timing advance to get you the most you can out of it. Uh, now, if you do it without a tune, that's okay too. It, you'll still lower your uh, intake air temps and it'll accomplish kind of some timing advance by itself. But the big problem with water meth injection is if you tune it and the system you choose doesn't have fail safes in place, and even if it does, there's potential for catastrophic failure if there's some sort of problem with the system, if the pump fails, if it runs out of fluid and the fail safe doesn't work properly uh, and the engine is too far advanced on timing, you can cause some serious major damage with the engine, which is something that anybody who's considering a system like that should be aware of those risks.